question trap, find the right. You can either find a try and find a stone for a gap, or you can um, try and find a gap for a stone. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So that one's not too bad. It's um, sticking out a wee bit. So just chop off the scratch hammer. Stone, I suppose. Yeah, the heart stones is the pre stones in the middle. Um, it's all this little stuff, and you fit them in reasonably carefully because that keeps it stronger. Uh, and then you put the stones in so that the, the long lengthwise into the wall so that keeps it strong as well so if I was putting this one in somewhere you know you put the long end in and occasionally you try and get one that goes right across I'm not going to put this one in just now though small one like that will be useful somewhere else uh, Try this one. One of the principles is um, when you're putting stones on, you put two stones, you put one stone on top of two stones. So if you were to come, so you can see the side here, you've got two stones that are joining together. You want to put one stone over the top of the two so you don't just get lines running straight up the wall because that wouldn't be very strong. See if this one's going to go anywhere just now, maybe not. Come get some more stone. So what trial and error? And you can usually, if you've got something that's nearly the right size, you can. You can cut it down, and sometimes they break, and then you just have to use them as heart stones. It's just the way it goes. So we get a good stone out of that. Put that off there. Sometimes I'll just get a stone and dress it a bit and then find somewhere for it to go. Sometimes you'll dress one specifically for a particular gap. Something like that's useful later for making pin stones that can be fitted in back to prop stones up. So that's that's pretty good there, you've got a nice edge or potentially there. You can square that up using the scratch hammer again. See where it can go. Well, 
that's actually not bad. Again, from placing it. I've got two I've got one stone over two. So I could go there. Better because then there's a there's a kind of a natural angle in the face, and I've got one stone which is going over these two, uh, and it's all quite nice that. So it just needs to be pinned up from inside. So I'll just put the pin stones inside the wall, and then fall in. So you can fill the gap with your hand, and then you find something that will hold it up. And then I would uh, start filling up that gap with heart stones. Occasionally, if you knock, you might knock stones out of line, tap them back in. So that's pretty good, and then I can just build that up in there. Probably I end up having to take these out when this face comes in here. But yeah, I'll take a bucket of thin, small stones that can be used as pin stones. This stuff flakes off when you cut the stone. You just chuck them in a big bucket. There we go. Is good. 